Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Antok Merrick from Rogue One. So I am pretty excited for this figure. I mean, this was a long wait and yes, it's on the X-Wing Luke body, but that's fine. I mean, this one's painted blue. I think it's going to look great on the shelf and I'm happy it's finally here. And of course it comes in the Galaxy packaging, Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window you can see Antok Merrick comes with a helmet and a DL-44. Down here we got Rogue One A Star Wars Story and Antok Merrick. On this side of the box the front window wraps around and you got Star Wars The Black Series again down there. And there's the side with the artwork. Very nice picture. In the background you can see some X-Wings there. I guess that's supposed to be the beach on Scarif. Very nice and like I've said before, I absolutely love this color for Rogue One. It's just gorgeous. There's a small window on the top of the box. On the bottom of the box, you have the barcode, some logos, and some very, very small print. And there's the back of the box. Same picture as the side. You got a short bio in five different languages. And Talk Merrick is number eight in this Rogue One line. Then you got some stuff down there that no one really looks at. And the bio just says, And Talk Merrick commands Yevon Force starfighters before the Battle of the Death Star, flying as Blue Leader. I'm going to get And Talk Merrick open, and let's take a look at him. All right, so here is And Talk Merrick out of the box, and let's get a good look at him. Start up here with his head and face, and this looks really, really good. I mean, here, I'll go ahead and put this up. This looks like Ben Daniels. I think they did a very nice job. I mean, they got the blue eyes right, the little mustache. Yeah, this, I think the hair looks pretty good. The hair sculpt is very nice. Ears, skin tone is well done. I mean, this looks really, really nice. But yeah, the eyes, the eyebrows, nose, mouth, everything on this looks very very good. Yeah, good job, Hasbro. And from the neck down, it is an X-Wing pilot and a Snowspeeder pilot, too. We'll get to that in a second. But we'll start up here with this white part here on his chest. This looks very nice. It's a great sculpt, great texture. The box here looks very good. All the colors are very clean. The paint, yeah, this looks good. The hose coming here. Love it. A nice corrugated hose. Yeah, very good. That's what the back looks like. It's just white. They did not paint anything back here, any of these little straps. It's just it's all white, but it's okay. It's fine. It looks just like it's supposed to look. The arms have this nice stripe going down the side. Gloves look good. Love that there on the glove. That looks very good. Nice and clean. The right arm is pretty much the same thing. The stripe, glove. It's blank on this side. It's just a glove. Yeah, all this in here. Strap coming down. Yeah, both sides. Yeah, it looks good. Very good. The legs look good. Got these pockets. Yeah, great sculpt. Love the wrinkles back here and the boots. This is nice. I love how they painted these. Yeah, very good. And the boots are just black boots. Nice and shiny with some good wrinkles. Very smooth. Yeah, boots look great. Yeah, I mean, top to bottom, it's a fighter pilot. X-Wing slash Snowspeeder pilot. Um, but it looks great. It looks exactly like it's supposed to. And it being blue, it's going to look good on the shelf. So as far as comparisons, all right, so it's X-Wing Luke. So this is the archive version of X-Wing Luke. Same body, you know, torso, legs, belt, chest box. The lightsaber hook is still there. Yeah. Same boots, same thing on the right leg. Yeah. Slightly different color. Boots are practically the same color, but the arms, the arms are from Snowspeeder Luke. Yeah, you can see that texture going on right here. It's just not painted. It's all orange on Snowspeeder Luke. But yeah, same arms and then same gloves there as Snowspeeder Luke, but, you know, different paint. So it's like a combination of... A, what is this on the lightsaber? Yeah, piece of fuzz. Uh, yeah, same. It's like a combination of X-Wing Luke and Snowspeeder Luke. And just for the sake of the video, let's run through articulation. So you do have some side to side of the head. You have just uh, pfft, hardly any down. A little bit up and just a, you got a little bit of tilt there. The arms get up that far and they can rotate all the way around. He's got single elbows that get past 90. There's a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. So the right hand has an up and down hinge and the left hand has a side to side hinge. As far as midsection, there's hardly any, no, there's nothing. No crunch, no back, no tilt, no swivel. Yeah, he's pretty much fixed in here. There is an upper thigh swivel. And this strap hanging down, going around his legs, is nice and flexible, so the legs get up that far. And if you slide these straps up, the legs go out that far, and they go back that much. You've got double-jointed knees that go that far. Feet go down to there, they go up. Oh boy, come on, there we go. They go up that far, and you've got some swivel at the ankle. 
And as far as accessories, there's the DL44 that he comes with. So the frame and the grip are all black, but you do have a little bit of silver on the tip of the barrel. Got a little scope there. That looks pretty good. There's the flip side. Just more of the same. Got a little more sculpt over here, but it's a pretty cool little blaster. And let's see how Antok looks holding this. I mean, because we don't ever see X-Wing pilots, you know, dressed like this wielding blasters. But he does hold that very well in his right hand. Yeah, that's the trigger finger hand. Trigger finger... It's almost through the trigger guard, almost. He's he's kind of exercising trigger discipline just a little bit, but he does look pretty good holding that. And the fact that he's got pretty good elbows and a pretty good wrist hinge, I mean, you can fire low from the hip like that. And even having it just down by his side, I think that looks pretty good too. And there's a good look at the helmet that he comes with, and I love this. I mean, this is a really nice looking helmet. The kind of a smoky bluish gray color, very nice. All the paint is very clean. The dirt looks pretty good. Nice vibrant yellow there. The visor looks very good. Chin strap looks great. Thin, the Rebel Alliance symbol, super clean, both of them. There's some more dirt there. All this over here, very nice. Fin looks good. The stripe going up the middle of the fin, mine's a, it's a little bit crooked if you wanted to get picky. A Little bit crooked, but overall, it's not terrible, but the yellow throughout, is very nice. It's a really, really good looking helmet. And the plastic on the inside, it's all part of the visor. You know, you can see that the visor and all this in here, it's all one piece. It's just glued in there, you know, but it works. And as far as the sculpt of the helmet, it's a little closer to Snowspeeder Luke's helmet, you know, with the fin being a little bit taller. Yeah, but it's a really, really nice looking helmet. And I'm sure this will be just as much fun as putting the helmet on Luke because the chin strap loves to get hung up on the nose let's see okay not bad come on i think his hair is preventing it's preventing the helmet from sitting down okay that god it's tight all right so you kind of have to tip the helmet forward just a little bit to get the visor to cover his eyes and then you can move the chin strap down under his chin and it's a little wonky a little bit off okay that's good there that yeah that looks nice that looks pretty good i don't think i'll ever display him with the helmet on because the face sculpt is so good the ugh, come on get on there uh the likeness to ben daniels is so good but you have to admit that's a pretty good look and getting it off let's see yeah the chin strap loves to hang up on the nose just like luke come on get off there and that's tight Golly, okay. <laughs> Despite being a squishy helmet, that thing is hard to get off. So there he is just holding the helmet with the pistol down by his side. I think that looks great. You know, he's got a really good horizontal hinge on the left hand. Can sort of bend that in. The shoulders, you know, can get out far enough. And I think that is a pretty good look. I'll probably keep him like this on the shelf. And speaking of shelves, there we have it. And he looks really good there. That blue flight suit is just wonderful. You know, because we're so used to seeing orange, that blue, is very nice and as far as height so i guess using the luke body you know the x-wing luke body he's a little shorter and i don't know how tall ben daniels is i don't know if this is to scale or not but he is shorter than everyone <laughs> he's he's little but you have to admit and the rogue one line of figures is just great i mean one of my favorite movies all the figures look so good on the shelf i'm really happy to finally have this guy yeah this is a pretty cool figure I'm very, very pleased with it. The blue flight suit is just awesome. You know, it's a body that we've seen before, but the blue, I love it. I just love it. And that face, that face is hard to beat. I mean, that, that's a striking resemblance to Ben Daniels. I think they did a good job with it. I love the little mustache. The helmet is just great. I love that helmet. The gray, the light blue, the yellow, everything just looks so good on it. Yeah, pretty happy with this. I mean, waited long enough. But yeah, very, very happy with this figure. But I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of Antok Merrick from Rogue One. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time.